when I finally met this guy at a uh, Canada-Russian exhibition series at the Memorial Civic Center in Camelton in the early 1990s, before that uh, early decades Olympics, I was uh, struck by how mellow the guy turned into. Because in the 1970s and into the 80s, boys oh boys, they say the iron hand of Russia, this guy had. So today we're not going into the full career of this guy because it's very controversial. A lot of the Russian stars hated his guts. And I know the feeling was mutual for the fans of Team Russia. Now, Viktor Tikhonov was a Russian ice hockey player and coach. He was a defenseman to VVS Moscow and Dynamo Moscow for 49 to 63. <clears throat> winning four national titles. This experience eventually led him to be the coach for a Soviet team when it was the most dominant squad in international play, winning eight world titles, as well as Olympic gold medals in 84, 88, and 92. Tikhonov also led their key marquee squad, Siska Moscow, to 12 consecutive league championships. He was aimed to the IAAHF Hall of Fame as a builder in 1998, and I hope, uh, he should be in the Hockey Hall of Fame down the road. Now, he played as a rear guard with the team of the Soviet Air Force at Dynamo Moscow, scoring 35 counters in 296 games in the Soviet Elite Hockey League from 49 to 63. He also played for the Soviet Union national team in 56. In 1950, he became a Soviet sports master. As a player, he won four gold medals uh, of the Soviet national title, three times with VVS and once with Dynamo, all consecutive. He won the USSR Cup in 52 as a member of VVS. His coaching career started in 64 when he became an AC for Dynamo Moscow. Then he took over the position of head coach for Dynamo Riga in 68. In 73, he was named a Latvian Meritan sports coach. In 77, he became the head coach for both Siska Moscow and the Soviet national team. In 78, he became a Soviet Meritan sports coach. He was the Soviet and later unified team and Russian last team coach until 94 and a coach for Siska until 96. As he coached, he won 12 straight Soviet titles, 78, 89, World Championship gold, 78, 79, 81, 82, 83, 86, 89, 90, Olympic gold in 84, 88, 92, silver in 1980 when he took uh, Trecek out after that bad first period, which cost him, the 79 Challenge Cup and the 81 Canada Cup. He is known for his dictatorial coaching style. He exercised nearly absolute control over his players' lives. His teams practiced for 10 to 11 months a year and were confined to barracks throughout that time. Sisko was a division of the Soviet Army due to the Soviet area, and he was a colonel. Tikhonov's fear of defection since the late 80s was supposedly so great that he cut players who he thought that might defect. In 91, for instance, he cut Pavel Bure, Valery Zelipukin, Evgeny Davidov, and Vladimir Konstantinov just before the 91 Canada Cup. All of them had been drafted by NHL teams, and Tikhonov might have thought they might defect if they're allowed to go west, just like Alexander McGillian and Sergei Fedorov. And he stole possibly the world recognition for what could have been the greatest line of all time, Bure, McGillian, and Fedorov on a regular basis. Now, after the dissolution of the Soviet Union, Tikhonov mellowed his style considerably. After his retirement, he lobbied the Russian government for more attention and better financing for the national team. Now, when he was hospitalized in late October 2014, he died after a long illness in Moscow on November 24, 2014, at the age of 84. Now, uh, honors and awards, double IHF Hall of Fame, Order of Merit to the Fatherland, Order of Honor, Order of Friendship, Order of Lenin, Order of the October Revolution, Order of the Red Banner of Labor, Order of Friendship of Peoples, Medal for Distinguished Labor, Medal for Military Valor, and Chevalier of the Olympic uh, Order. Now, will he get in the Hockey Hall of Fame? Well, I think he should. Uh, although maybe he didn't like his coaching style, but uh, just like Dick Irvin and Don Cherry and a lot of uh, gruff coaches, it happens. But Tikhonov, basically, he was paranoid for reason. He knew that Russian was going to be disillusioned. Uh, uh, dissolved after a while. But don't forget, in 1972, he would have been head coach of Team Russia. A lot of people believed he wouldn't have lost because the coaching style he had later on could beat the North American teams, uh, which never happened in 72. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening. Give us a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And don't forget, keep your stick in the ice. Bye.